What's up folks, welcome to video 21 in Project 3030, 30, 30 videos in 30 days. In this video, we're going to be seeing about how we're going to pack all of our stuff onto the little dinghy and how we may sleep on the dinghy, because I'm not really sure about it, but I mean, I know we can make it work somehow, it may not be comfortable, it may not be pretty, but we got to do it. <laughs> These gas prices are just nuts. <laughs> and we still have to make some adventures happen, because I know you guys want to see them, and you know what, I want to see them too. <laughs> Speaking of gas prices, this thing even came with some oars. So if prices do get too high, we could just row, row, row our boat. <laughs> it's good exercise too. Hopefully. And she's still holding air. Good. All right, how are we gonna make this work? Right over here in this tote, I've got pretty much all of the essential camping gear that I'll need. Definitely all the bulk. I mean, I don't have the exact amount of water packed, although I do have a bunch of empty water bottles. You know, I just want to simulate what it's going to be like. We also need to gather up some safety equipment and fuel and, I don't know, whatever else, an anchor. You know, stuff like that that's going to have to be on the boat as well. So I have this fairly small Cooper anchor that will work perfect for this boat. If not, maybe be a little overkill, which is fine with me. And you guys know I love my Cooper anchors. Now I need a little bit of chain, so I'm going to steal that from this Fortress Stowaway Anchor. And I know you may not really need chain on it, but I like to have chain on it. I wonder if it'll fit through there. I may not even do that. Yeah, I want to... Yeah, I'm going to have to find a smaller connector. Yeah, maybe a couple of them. Nothing wrong with a little extra weight on your chain, but granted, I know Cooper sometimes suggests not to use a chain with these so that they'll actually dig down better, but I don't know, I just I feel better with the chain. And I've also got this rope here that'll work. Now, I may not set this up perfectly, you know, tying all the ropes together and everything, but this mainly just to simulate it. Now I need to find some sort of a bag for this. Yeah, definitely need an anchor bag. Bag, bucket, bag. I can't exactly find a bag right now, so that may have to wait, but we can still simulate with just, you know, this. It doesn't take up much space. I'm wondering, do I have to have a throw cushion on this boat? I don't think so. Let's Google it. Less than 16 feet. One approved PFD. Fire extinguisher. Great. Wait. Required for all recreational motorboats except outboard power motorboats less than 26 feet. If constructed in a manner that will not allow gas fumes to accumulate. We're good. Visual distress signal, got that. Sound producing device, got that. Vessel lighting, got that. So we don't need a throw cushion, and we don't need a fire extinguisher. All right, now I'm gonna quickly pack this stuff in here. Just got a few dry bags. Big tote of water, or mesh bag of water. It's actually a scallop bag. Clothing, toiletries, flashlights, blah, blah, blah. Safety equipment, tools. That probably go in its own. First aid, lantern, sleeping pad, mosquito head net, linens or sleeping bag liner, <laughs> knife, sunglass case, little pack towel, food. And we have a lot more room in there, so that's good. Sunblock. Then I have this watertight case where I'll put some cameras and camera equipment in here, but I can also toss a lot of extra in this dry bag and in this dry bag. So we're actually pretty good on dry bags. I thought I was gonna have to buy like some big huge dry bag. And also my goggles and then if we have extra room I'll toss the fins in for sure. Oh, we're gonna have plenty of room, at least for storage. We'll see how the sleeping works. I know there's gonna be some extra stuff so we're about full on this bag though. Probably do about like right here. So we won't roll it up all the way, just kind of simulate extra stuff. We've got about 150 ounces of water. We might need a little more than that. But I usually figure on about 100 ounces a day. And the first trip on the dinghy probably would be just a single nighter. So uh, we wouldn't need too much. All right, let's toss it in the boat. Fuel. to pump too because you never know <laughs> the hose will be unscrewed though then we'll kind of wrap it up like that and you know secure it nicely 
I wonder if you could store this thing like that. Probably for temporarily, I think you could. So we could put a strap on that too, so that's gonna be a little smaller. All right, all of our stuff pretty easily fits right here in the bow section. We have a lot of room left back here as we're driving the boat. This is gonna work good. We could bring extra stuff if we needed to. Now let's see how the sleeping arrangements are gonna work. Not quite as easy. I think the fuel is gonna be the biggest issue. Now this is a, what, two gallon, two and a half? Two gallons and eight ounces. This is a one gallon, four ounce. So we could bring the one gallon, four ounce. We just I don't know the burn rate on that little motor. Probably isn't much, but I wanted to figure it with this bigger one, but we may just figure it with this smaller one. Yeah, let's do that. All right, I got a few good ideas. I've been sitting there kind of thinking about it. Can you see my head? Yes, you can. <laughs> All right, so whenever we're at anchor, of course the anchor's gonna be out. Don't have to worry about that. The motor's gonna be here. So I'm wondering what to do with a gas can. You know, I could like tie it and like hang it off the side. So I could bring like some sort of a gear tie, just attach it right here. I think that would work just fine. Yeah, that would work. All right, set that out. Then also, I guess I could do the same thing with my drive axe, right? I could hang them off the side if I wanted to. I kind of would rather them be up more. Ah, here we go. So I could take it, clip it on the side like this. And it has another little D-ring here that I can attach here with a little gear tie or something. Okay, that'll work. So these would be up there. This one would be on the side. I could even put this one on the side. Let's do this. This seat, I probably will remove. This slides right off. Probably would go under my foot portion, which would need to be at the stern because the bow of the boat's gonna be a little bit higher and I want my head higher than my feet. Yep. Turn that sideways right there, it's locked in. Water, and technically water could come off the side as well. Ah. See, I'm worried about stuff hanging off the side. Like, what if something happens? I don't know what could happen, but I don't know. We may revisit that. Our tubing, no problem. Okay, it definitely can be secured like that in some form or fashion. This pump, it probably could be secured as well because I'm gonna have a strap for it to hold it tight anyway, and I could strap it here also. Okay, so we're just gonna set this to the side, and this is gonna work. PFD, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with tying the PFD to the side. I got a buckle on it. Buckle, ain't going nowhere. This, okay, we'll wait, we'll revisit that. Now it does have a little spot where I can attach something to it, so I could tie it off and maybe just you know hang it on the inside. That would work. Need a lot of rope. <laughs> I can do the same thing with the water. I could hang it toward the inside. So let's just say, well down here near the feet. We'll hang it up some way. Alright, this sucker. I know it's gonna to be too long to fit in here, but, well, maybe not. Right, that over there. Pillow. <laughs> uh, I can't exactly, I can almost stretch out. If I take my sandals off, I might just stretch out all the way. Or if I fold it, oh, fold it under. Oh yeah, crinkle it up a little bit. I'm pretty much stretched out. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be nice. All right, but there's one other thing you guys have me think about. Trip, what if it rains? I got an idea for that. I'm just gonna take all this stuff off while we demonstrate that idea. And this is a pretty cool idea. I think so. So I know that if it rains, I'm gonna be getting wet in this thing. Hopefully it doesn't rain or I just kind of plan trips on this when the weather's a little bit nicer. But if it does rain or if I'm in the sun a lot, I need some sort of you know protection from it. Check this out. Get my oars, just secure these together up here in some form or fashion, and then maybe to the bow or to the to the motor. 
and then I can put a poncho over the top. It would be tricky and you know not the greatest, but it would work. So I think this is actually working out better than I expected, which is fantastic. And I want to take a second just to thank everyone who supports the channel by watching, commenting, and especially all the patrons who support the channel over on Patreon. I really do appreciate it. There's a lot of things happening with the channel that is because of you guys. So thank you very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. It really means a lot to me, and it means a lot to everyone else who watches because because of your support, I get to create more adventures and more epic things and create more content to hopefully inspire more people to get out there and live their adventurous life. So if you'd like to consider supporting the channel, go check out Patreon and see the purchase stuff that are over there. We like early registration to all events like Rocket Dock and Skip Rallies. They also get early access to most of my adventure videos before they go out, except in Project 3030. This has been kind of dicey. One of the newest perks, which has become my favorite, and I think a lot of people's favorites, is Volley. It's like a it's like a video messaging app where all over there communicating and chatting about various topics. It's a lot of fun. You basically can talk straight up with me about whatever we want to. We really just have a lot of fun over there. It's taking off better than I thought it would, and I'm so grateful that everyone jumped on the platform and is loving it so much. So what's next, Trip? When are you taking her out? Well, I gotta get her registered and a couple other little things like that little uh, flapper, little scupper valve in the back. But other than that, there's not much else holding us back other than schedule. But that's not always bad because I have some traveling coming up. So we won't be taking this out on an adventure anytime super soon, but I'd also would want to wait until the water warms up a little bit. So if you're excited about seeing some adventures on this thing, just know that I am too, and I'm working to get there. But also, in the meantime, there's going to be some other great content coming your way. So I appreciate all you folks subscribing and being part of the channel. All right, we'll see you tomorrow on Project 3030. Tomorrow's video is going to be about freeze drying some food. Yes, I have a freeze dryer. I'm going to be taking you folks through the process of me freeze drying some meals for my upcoming travels. So I'll see you tomorrow. Get out there. God bless.